Guts by Reina Talgamer. Mom? What is it, honey? My stomach feels funny. Do you need to throw up? No. I, I donna. I threw up about 20 minutes ago. We may have caught your sister's flu. Try to do it. You'll feel better. I don't know how. Well, when your body's ready, you'll just... Good job, kiddo. Here's some water. Why does it taste sweet? Artichokes? Huh? We eat artichokes for dinner, which have a chemical in them that makes the water taste sweet. The same is true. If you barf them too? Gross. Try to get some sleep, okay? Mm. Honey, move, I need to. And then my mom and I spent the rest of the night puking. Reina, you're grossing us out. Sorry, Nicole. Fourth grade was pretty much one long gross out contest. Coffee, tea, milkshake, pee. Hey! Guys! The stomach flu made the rounds to a lot of us that season. Teddy Shanahan barfed in the middle of the yard at the recess and dropped his pencil in it. Poor Teddy. I would not want that to happen to me. A few days later, when Teddy returned to school, Pencil puke! Pencil puke! Pencil puke! Pencil puke! Pencil puke! I was a nervous kid. Self-conscious, shy, quiet, most of the time. I swear, you need to look in a mirror sometimes to see how faces react. Check out Calvin's expression in the third panel, isn't that great? That reminds me of a cartoon I saw on the TV the other day. Ah, uh, you nerds and your stupid cartoons. Technically, this is a comic strip, see? Okay, Miss Technically, what's that you're eating for lunch today? Dog food? Whatever, Michelle, this is kimbap and kamakbab. My mom made it and it's really good. You don't know anything. Your food is weird and that's a fact. It's not a fact. Yeah, Michelle's just mean. And you want to talk about weird? You should see the way my family eats. I like pizza, coke, ice cream, peanut butter, and jelly sandwiches, tacos, and chips. I really like chips. My little brother, Will, is only one and a half. He eats baby carrots, taco shells, grated cheddar cheese, and raw spaghetti. That's it. My sister Amara is five. She likes salads and french fries and ketchup. So much ketchup. She'll eat pizza, but she'll take rip off the cheese off first. My dad eats the cheese. On pizza? Huh? Oh yeah, we all do. Except your sister? My dad really likes cheese. A lot, a lot, lot. It's what's for dinner. My mom's perfect meal, get this, is a glass of milk and steamed artichoke and mayonnaise. Mmm. Even after we barf them? Shh. Mmm. Autonomy of a normal dinner at our house. Milk and juice, salad and tacos, chips, guacamole, which we all actually like, baby carrots, grated cheddar cheese, and taco shells. Taco night? Real weird. Yeah, but it's taco night like four times a week. Hi, Mom. What are we... Oh. Later. Mom, can you come up here? What is it, Raina? You okay? Are you sick again, honey? I... I think so. I didn't puke. But the thought that I might was worse than if I actually had. 
Is Raina sick, Mom? Yes, she needs to rest. Sick isn't quite the right word for it, but something was definitely wrong. Healthy as a horse. Could be your hormones kicking in. Might have been a little food poisoning. Could it be? But none of, the, none of that explained why I had been so scared. Okay, class, getting back to the quiz. Question two. After dinner, five out of eight of the pizza is left over. That night, your sister eats two out of eight of the pizza. How much is left over for that? Is that with or without the cheese? Papers forward, everyone. The next day, Rena, you answered two out of eight questions. Is everything okay at home? All your little drawings are very nice. You're a visual problem solver. But I still can't give you a grade higher than a D minus. My stomach hurts. Our house was awfully small, impossible to get much privacy. The most peaceful place was the bathroom. But one bathroom for five people, one of whom was potty training, was a little tough to manage. Reyna, are you done? I gotta go. I need to brush my teeth. At least in the summer, we could spread things out a little. A little. Amara, I'm hurrying. Fifth grade and kindergarten for my sister started in September. Jane and Nicole were in my class again. Michelle too. My teacher was Mr. Ambras, who had actually had for second grade too. Hi Raina, great to see you again. Yeah. One of the things our class would be doing this year was LDI. That stands for Lecture, Demonstration, or Instruction. Almost any subject is fair game. LDIs will be given orally every Tuesday. You can submit proposals to me anytime. Yes, Ty? Can I demonstrate how to burp with the alphabet? Orally. Out loud. I hate talking in front of the class. I guess I could demonstrate I, how I draw, but drawing in front of people is hard. A fart contest. And instruction is like teaching. I can't imagine te teaching these guys anything. I wonder if it's too late to transfer to a different class. One more thing. You can do your LDIs in pairs if you wish. So? Jane, w do you want to do an LDI with me? Oh, yeah. What should we do it on? What are we experts at? Hmm. Video games? I only play them out of your house. Comics? I've only read the ones you bring to school. What do we have in common? We're both girls? Yeah. We both have younger siblings. We both like Full House. We're both... Girl Scouts. The Girl Scouts of America was founded in 1912 by Juliet Gordon, Lowe, and Savannah, Georgia. This is what the Girl Scouts logo looks like. Raina and I are both in Troop 415. I joined last year. So far, so good. We do all sorts of neat things. Camping, volunteering, cookie sales, and the best part, earning badges. Raina's going to tell you all about them. Uh, Girl Scout badges are... Sorry, Mr. Adams. This is so embarrassing. I almost pooped my pants. What am I, a kindergarten? Reina? Oh, uh, Jane, is that you? Yeah, Mr. Adams sent me to check on you. You okay? I think so. Now I'm supposed to walk you to the nurse's office. A stomach ache? I'm sorry. You can join Andre and Sirena right in the side room. They both have the stomach flu too. Kid on a cot, kid on a chair, at both of their feet, in the dreaded barf bucket. 
I'm fine. Are you a pooper diaper baby? No! Is there a problem, Reyna? Michal said I was, uh, she asked if I, never mind. Just try to be a little kinder to Michelle, okay? What? She was the one who's being mean. I don't wanna hear anymore. But that's not fair. Moving on to reading comprehension. Please open your workbooks to page 26. Poopy diaper baby. Later. I'm home, who's hungry? Pizza. I'm gonna go lie down. Is everything okay, kiddo? Is there something going on you wanna talk about? I don't know. Mr. Abrams notes said that Jane will get an A for the LDI, but he can't give you a B minus because you didn't give your portion of the oral presentation. What happened? I just got really nervous for some reason. I thought I was gonna puke. But you didn't. No, instead I had to go to the bathroom really bad. Number two. I'll talk to your teacher, okay? Now just try and get some rest. Don't tell him too many details. I don't want everybody to think I'm a pooper diaper baby. Man, I'm hungry. Cold leftover artichoke. Man, I'm hungry. Dinner time. Oh no, is it tacos again? I'm so bored of tacos. No artichokes. Gross, ew, smelly. I wish we were having tacos. So hungry. Hi honey, would you like a snack? Yes, please. Mom? Is Will sick? Uh-huh. He came home early from preschool. Throwing up? A few times. Would you rather have a taco and a burrito or two tacos for dinner? How can you think about food at a time like this? The rest of us still have to eat Reyna. But what if we catch it? Chances are we won't. You don't know that. Reyna? One time I ran the courtyard, two times around the courtyard, three, four, 12, 13, 20. And once more for good luck. Will's asleep, I think he's on the med. Can, you, can I sleep right here tonight? Nope. Can I go to grandma's house? No, it's too late. Can I sleep in the car? Reyna! Guess that means I just won't sleep. The next day, and perhaps if it weren't for the comet, the dinosaur would still be alive today. Ah, only 11.15, four more hours of school. It feels like 65 million years. Man, I've never been so happy to be home. Oh yeah. You go in, I'm gonna stay out here for a bit. Honey, what are we gonna do about this problem? I, I'm sorry, I don't wanna be a problem. What is it you're so afraid of? Vomit? But vomiting is a normal thing for people to do. Come inside, honey. No, the house is contaminated. Will's completely fine, come on. No. Yes, you're exhausted. This again. And this. I was missing too much school. I made you a bottle of hot water. But school was the last place I wanted to be. Can you be sick even if you're not sick? 
Can you be healthy even if you're hurt? Hi, Reina, I'm Lauren. I'm going to be your therapist. Your mom and dad have spoken to me about what's been going on. I'll meet with them occasionally to check in. But this is all about you. I want to make sure you feel comfortable here. Thank you, Mrs. Helgemeyer. See you in a bit. Good luck. This is a safe place, Reina. You can talk about anything you like. So, will you tell me a little about what you're why you're here today? In your own words? Um... I don't know. Thoughts can exist. Feelings can exist. But words do not always exist. However, one word Lauren said helped a lot. Try. Um, okay. I, it's... My little brother was... What's your little brother's name? It's Will. How old is Will? He just turned two. Can you tell him about... Can you tell me about him? What do you want to know? Anything you'd like to tell me? Well... All done. I'll see you next week, okay, Reyna? Okay. So? How was it? We mostly talked about Mara and Will. Oh yeah? Anything interesting? Not really, just how they act and what they like. Why do I have to go to therapy to talk about that? Our therapist is interested in understanding all the details about your life, your story, and her goal is to help you understand yourself. So let's try a few more sessions, okay? It sounds like you have a lot of stressful things going on in your life. I guess so. Can you tell me more about this worrying you have about vomiting? Does just hearing the word vomit scare you? Yes. Let's talk about it at the next session. Sounds good? Yes. No. Mr. Ambras? I gotta go, it's an emergency. What if Jane's throwing up? Oh no, oh no, and I sat next to her on the bus this morning. Oh no, we we shared some of her kimbap at lunch today. She probably breathed on me, and her dress are right next to each other. And I'm supposed to sleep over at her house this weekend. What if I'm next? What if, what if, what if? What? Um, is, are you okay? Yeah? Oh, because you ran out of the classroom super fast and I had to go to the bathroom. You were gone for like 15 minutes. So? What were you doing in there? None of your beeswax, Reyna! Did you at least wash your hands? Acting normal at school was getting harder and harder. Oh, can I get a chip? Um... Did you wash your, I mean, are your hands, um, you know what, just take the rest of them, I'm not hungry. Sweet. If we're not gonna eat it, I'll gladly take your apple. Yeah, can I have your juice box? Great, now I'm weird and hungry and thirsty. Coffee, tea, milkshake, pee. Whatever, who cares what Michelle says if this water fountain is pee? Coffee, Mountain Dew, and Milkshake. Poo! I hate your guts, Michelle. Hi, Reyna. Recess isn't over yet. Michelle was bugging me again. I know that you don't get along, but it's possible that you don't know her whole story. <sighs> a great thinker once said, Be kind, for everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle. It doesn't diminish your own battle, but perhaps you and Michelle can become allies instead of adversaries. So when non-teachers speak, that means, if I'm nice to you, maybe you won't be mean to me. 
You first. Saturday. Dinner time. A typical dinner at Jane's house looks something like this. Banchan, small dishes of food. Tofu, soup, rice, meat or fish. What's wrong? My family doesn't really cook meat. I'm not used to, well, bones. How about a dry tactical squid? These are so good. No, that's okay. Your loss. I'll just have one more rice, please. Sure. At least try some kimchi. It's my favorite. What is it? Spicy fermented cabbage. I do like cabbage. Yum! I'll have some of more of that too. After four bowls of rice and six hoppings of kimchi, Next morning, wake up, I'm starving. You want French toast? I'm not that hungry. I was a little gassy last night. Does kimchi cause gas? I never have gas. Okay, first of all, everyone has gas. You, me, Jane, everyone. Yes, certain foods cause gas, but too much of any one food is never gonna be great for you. A variety of food is best. And if something in particular doesn't agree with you, best to avoid it. That night, we went to Sizzler, which has an awesome all-you-can-eat salad bar. Oh wait, beans give you gas. Cheese? That might be bad. Potato salad? I've heard that can have bacteria in it. Cabbage? No. What? Your parents said you're afraid to eat. I'm not afraid to eat, I'm afraid it'll make me sick. If you don't eat, it will make you sick. I know, I know. Can you tell me if there are any foods that you know don't make you sick? Pizza? Pizza doesn't make you sick? No, but it makes Amara sick. That's why she doesn't eat the cheese. One time, when she was three, we were at the neighbor's house, and she was eating some pizza, and she choked, and, okay, so pizza doesn't make you sick, what else? Oh, Burger King hamburgers! But my mom won't eat meat, she hates it. Do you want to know why? One time when I was a baby, she had this crazy dream where, Reina, you seem very preoccupied with the things other people eat. Why? I don't know. You realize that you only have control over yourself, right? There are many things you simply don't have control over. Yeah, no joke. Lauren explained that fears often have no rhyme or reason. And that we all have some level of self-control. So maybe, I could learn to have control over my fears too. Please don't get me sick. Please don't let me get sick. Please don't let me get sick. Please don't let me. Victory! Shortly after that, I discovered marinated artichoke hearts are good on salads and on pizza, even straight from the jar. So I'm not afraid of eating artichokes anymore. Isn't that cool? Does that mean I'm cured? Sometimes we have things in life we need to work on, but that doesn't mean we're sick. It's not as simple as having a physical illness or a cure. Oh, but I'm glad you're eating artichokes again. Food for thought. How come you're late to school so much? Um, because I go to a therapist. Why? Is something wrong with you? Are you crazy? I can't tell you. Mr. Ambrose? Mr. Ambrose? Yes, Dina? Mr. Ambrose? Mr. Ambrose? Speaking of things being wrong, something was going on with the girls in my class. 
do you know why do you go home if you're not feeling good <sighs> you're not mature enough to understand two more hours of class how will i make it through last year bodily functions were common currently this year is the door stuck everything was private a mystery the boys haven't gotten the memo yet but it seemed like the girls were slowly forming a secret club to which i was not invited later everyone's acting weak huh i guess you're all at that age what age 10 puberty oh ew i knew the basics your body changes your hormones change i guess that is kind of personal hey was puberty to blame for my stomach aches i don't know was puberty to blame for my sudden panic attacks i don't know I do know my parents were paying way too much attention to me. What's going on? Am I in trouble? So, honey, we met with Lauren. What did she say? Did I do something wrong? No, no. Your dad and I met with Lauren sometimes, remember? That's how child therapy works. I'm not a child. Okay, okay, a young person, a minor. Better? So, is something wrong with me? Lauren just thinks you could use a little more space. You've shared a bedroom since Amara was born. So, what? Are all four of you going to share a room? We only have two of them. See? Way more privacy. What young person shares a room with her parents? Listen, if you'd rather give you this space to your sister or brother, no, 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 no. That night? Huh. No more bed bunk. No one watching me. No sound barrier. Morning, kiddo. Sleep okay? No. How do you put up with that snoring? I guess I just got used to it. Maybe I could, like sleep down here on the couch or something nope your grandma's going to live here with us for a little while what we all like grandma but six people in already tiny apartment it's just so space opens up in the new seniors community in six months the arrangement is temporary but family is forever Where can I put my shoes? Just throw them on top of that pile. My sisters and I were lucky to even have shoes. We lived three miles outside the Pickneyville, and every day we'd walk to... Let's go to my room. Want to see the comics I've been making? <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that your dad? The snoring one? Yeah. These are so cool. How do you do this? I just kind of look around me, listen to what people say, then I make comics about it. I wish I could draw. Try. No, I tried, I can't. I've seen you draw Precious Kitty, come on. No, I, I just trace her. That's okay. Maybe we could write a story and draw it. Ooh, that would be fun. We could base the characters on your little brothers. Or the school kids. Girls? I have to drive you home, Jane. Aww. Sorry Will's so fussy, everyone. <laughs> That's okay, this is good source material. The next day. Big game today, everyone excited? I'm going upstairs. Aw, come on. A perfect afternoon. 
Raina! 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 Hello? Jane, is that you? What's wrong? I can't understand you. We're moving. You are? Where? The suburbs, over near the airport. When? Alma and Appa said we have to finish at the school year here, but then we're going away. I won't know anybody in my new town. My dentist is near the airport. That's not that far. Do you remember Rosa from third grade? Her family lives over there too. They have a big house with four bedrooms and three houses and a creek in the backyard and a gazebo. I bet you and your brother will each get your own room. So lucky. It's so nice and sunny by the airport. I love it with my family. Reyna! I don't want to go. Okay? I thought Jane was lucky. She thought I was the lucky one. Look at you two gloomy gusses. What's the matter? Puberty? Oh wait, obviously not. Michelle's turn to give an LD I came around. I'm going to demonstrate you how to make a Waldorf salad. It's one of my family's favorite dishes. The ingredients are apples, celery, walnuts. That sounds okay. And mayonnaise. Ew! Michelle, please continue. Rihanna, can I place you in at the hall? So first you chop the apple into bite-sized pieces. I'm sorry, it's just apples and mayonnaise? I think that sounds delicious. Everyone eats different things. We all have our likes and dislikes. But please, please try not to be disrespectful of other people. Treat others as you wish to be treated. So in non-teacher speak, it means... Try it. Nope, not my thing. Mmm, wow, good. Tasty. Thank you, Michelle. Let's give her a hand. So what's your deal? You give away your lunches. You didn't want Michelle's salad. Do you have an eating disorder? No. Nah, she's just a weirdo. Dina. See, you won't have to go to middle school with, the, with any of these meanies. You get a fresh start. I don't want a fresh start. The idea of leaving makes me want to puke. The idea of puking makes me want to never eat, run, hide, not touch things, scream. Ah, uh, so your best friend is moving away? What kind of other kids is in your class? Some of them are mean to me. Are you being bullied? They don't beat me up or anything. They don't steal my stuff. I just get teased a lot. And how does that make you feel? On a scale of 1 to 10, where 1 is maybe a raised eyebrow, and 10 is losing all control. Probably like a 5. It makes my stomach hurt, and then I get scared I'm going to puke. And that makes me feel about an 8 or a 9. As far as being scared goes, when I'm in this space, I feel like I can't get out. Try. I feel like I won't survive it. Try. I feel like I can't control anything. Try. I feel like I can't even try. Try anyway. Concentrate on your feet, touching the floor. Let that ground you. Let your feet anchor you. Just breathe. Would it help to explain to your classmates what you're going through? I don't want them to know that I'm afraid of throw up. It's just so babyish, weird, dumb, and stupid. I bet all your friends are secretly scared of something. Let's go back to breathing. Just breathe. Feet, ground, Breathe. Okay? Mm hmm. Scale of 1 to 10. 5? 
You never never made it all the way to ten. Except in age. Lauren says you're making jokes, which is a sign of progress. They say laughter is the best medicine. Want to read this comic strip Jane and I made? Very nice. You gonna show Jane tomorrow? Yeah, after therapy. Do you think it's funny, Grandma? I'll tell you what's funny. My brother Louie had a dog, a mutt, real Maggie, and the dog hated squirrels. But one day, the next day, this isn't funny. Jane, what's going on? You weren't on the bus this morning, so Michelle sat with me instead. She's actually really nice once you get to know her. But it won't let her come between us. Promise. And yet... Morning, honey. Time to get up for school. Can I stay home? My stomach hurts. No fever? I'll set you up on the couch and make you some tea. My sister and I used to get stomach cakes. Woo-wee! We went to see John down the way. And his family owned like an apple orchard and Anne picked them up. Sometimes John would pick us two or three from the bushes. Grandma, I'm gonna go upstairs to rest. I've already lost my best friend. And she hasn't even moved away yet. It's a total punch in the guts. Yup, still healthy as a horse. No parasites, no bacteria, no food allergies. Um, good. So your official diagnosis is IBS. That stands for Irritable Bowel Syndrome. It basically means upset stomach with no discernible cause. Can it be cured? It tends to come and go. And get enough rest, exercise, and water. Don't eat foods that bother you. And most importantly, don't stress out too much. How could I not stress? Life is so stressful. Hi, got something for ya. You're invited to James' slumber party. Jane, I... Please come. These are my last few weeks of leaving here. I want them to be good ones. Mr. Ambrose, I gotta... Go ahead, Michelle. I just don't get it. She's been mint to us for years. I know. I think she had a change of heart. What if it's a trick? What if she just needs friends? You don't have to be, be best friends with her. Just try and accept that she's my friend now. Please. And who knows? Maybe puberty made her nice. Can puberty make you nice? <laughs> I don't know if it can be scientifically proven. But we all go through changes in times of reflection. Growth is both physical and emotional, you know? How are you feeling about everything in your life lately? I guess I feel a little better knowing that just because I have a little gas, it doesn't mean something is wrong. And it doesn't mean I'm going to throw up. But at some point, I might. That's true, you might. It's kind of out of your control. But I hope you feel a little more prepared to cope with the fear. I can try. Happy Tuesday, class. Ready for today's LDI? Reina? Breathe. Uh, I'm going to talk about the mind and body. Now, you don't have to answer, but I want you all to think about something that scares you. And now, try and notice how that makes you feel. For me, worrying about things makes my stomach hurt. And my stomach hurting makes me worry more. It's a cycle, mind and body, body and mind. But I have a few ways of coping. Can everyone please stand? I show them how to breathe deeply and how to focus on their feet. 
Amazingly, I got through my presentation without a hint of fear. And everyone seemed a little calmer afterward. Or maybe not. Probably just puberty. Probably. But the next day, and the next, morning class, I have some news. Michelle is in the hospital. She had surgery on her intestines. Whoa, her stomach? Is she okay? Gross! What happened? What hospital? Her family has asked me not to share more than that. Aww. Is it a secret? Not really. Just confidential, out of respect for Michelle's privacy. Yes, Nicole? Was it something contagious? Nope, it's not something you can catch. Phew. The good news is, she's going to be fine. The bad news is, she's not going to be able to come back to school before the end of the year. Mr. Ambrose? Yes, Reyna? I have an idea. So? What should we do now? I don't know. What do you guys want to do? We could play skeletons in the closet. What's that? Is where everyone tells their deepest, darkest secret. I'm not sure I like this game. I'll start. I, I, I got my period. What? When? Starting in March. Wow. Is that really a deep and dark secret? The way everyone acts about it? Yeah. I guess. My big sister got hers a few years ago, so I kind of knew what to expect. But it's still super weird. My secret is that my dad gets drunk sometimes. He's never dangerous, but a couple of times he's yelled at me and my brother. It's scary. Did he throw up? Once. We laughed at him that time. Even though it wasn't really funny. I'm so glad my parents don't drink. What's your secret, Reyna? I go to therapy. I go to therapy too. My parents do too. So does my sister. Really? Yeah, it's no big deal. But no one ever talks about it. I actually thought that maybe there was something really wrong with me. Nah. What is it, Jane? I'm moving. I'm gonna miss you guys so much. You are? When? We'll miss you too. Where to? Oh my god. Wait, you guys didn't know? No. Did you? Oh, um, yeah. I didn't mean to keep it a secret. It's just hard to accept. Have you told Michelle yet? No. But we should, we should call her right now. Your turn, Reyna. But I have no idea what to say. Try. Hi, Michelle. Hi. I'm glad you're okay. This was my third intestinal surgery. The first two were when I was a baby. Wow, I had no idea. Were you scared? Yeah, but like, I needed to take the risks. Did you, um, did you throw up? No, but before my surgery, I was so ner nervous I thought I might puke. But guess what? What? You know that breathing thing you showed us in class? I tried it, and it helped a lot. Thank you. You're welcome. So, did you get the poster we made you? Heck yeah, I did. She loved the comics Jane and I made. And all the little notes everyone wrote. Our stomach problems were really different, but I could still relate to how she felt. And we had so much other stuff in common too. Oh, I guess I should go. Hey, Michelle? 
You've got guts. Huh, well, thanks. CN Middle School? Yeah. My mom said she'll drive me to your house anytime I want. Maybe we can still ride and draw together? Sure. And go on bike rides. And to the mall. And see movies and go for pizza, eat Korean food, go Girl Scouts, roller skating, birthday parties. The end. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed the book. If you want to listen to more audiobooks, head on over to my channel. And while you're there, why don't you subscribe? Thanks again, and I wish you all a good day.